hi everybody so as you can see i'm busy cooking <laughs> this is okra well with me usually what i noticed is that there's not really a lot of videos of you know how to cook like indigenous bimpopo i wouldn't say necessarily that this is a vendor recipe lots of vendors eat it but there's also some tongas and so i don't want to not include them so for me this is one of the best it's nice it's slimy and i just cooked the yellow pap i i'm i'm gonna show you how i i cook pap so but in the near future but I, I i really love that i i can be like a pioneer of showing people how to to make a uh, lot of indigenous food because i've searched it you know when you go on the internet and you try to search these things and then you don't find enough variations it, it can get a bit difficult but this is this is it i i literally i love what i do i love this this is so i'm going i'm gonna also cut the spinach as well and then we're gonna see how it goes it's also very nice and then i also want to talk about venda music as well and zonga music just today i feel like you know just praising the bobo you know <laughs> Now that I am done cutting the okra, which gives it the sliminess that it needs, I am now chopping the spinach, which gives it volume. Well, this is to imitate the derere. Derere is actually Egyptian spinach in English. And in other countries, they actually make rope and linen out of this. But actually for me, I feel like it tastes great as a spinach that we eat with pap. I love it so much. And it's not just any pap. It's that sour pap that we make. Like mutuku. And it tastes so good. I love it with that. And it reminds me of my childhood. Because my grandmother would always make derere for me. Every time I go back to Venda. Which gives me that feeling again. So right now I'm going to be chopping the onion plus the tomato those make dere even more delicious like dere without onions or a tomato just wouldn't be the same so add your tomato and add your dere chop them thinly and don't be lazy just chop them up and what i was playing before it was like hobbit mokwebo karufuno that is a very beautiful lovely song i actually i love reggae music now you need to put one teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda look at the reaction yes look at it I love this. <laughs> I actually do. I, I put like two because I couldn't get the full teaspoon. And then I added my okra. Look at that. And then you stir it up. And the other thing that you do not forget, please, it is salt for taste. I love to put like two teaspoons of it. So that I don't over, don't under and then don't overdo it. Because if it has too much salt, nobody's going to eat it. If it has no salt, it's going to be tasteless. So here's a little thing that I always forget. I always use like the smallest parts to put my derere. But then look at me. I can see, change the pot. Don't be like me. Use a big pot because the spinach, hey tends to be too much sometimes there we go yes put at a little bit more close the lid and then when it gets to be a bit i can you can call it like when it gets slimy just you need to stir this is crucial you cannot cook derere and not be 
with the derere because derere is demanding. It needs you to be there. You then add your onions and your tomato. You stir. Girl, you stir. You keep stirring until for like 10 minutes flat, you just be stirring, stir, stir, stir. Otherwise, it's going to burn. So, And please put your pot nicely and on medium look at it you keep stirring you keep stirring keep stirring until you are done thank you so much for watching there was not really a lot of videos about derere and how to cook these things i am so honored to be one of the pioneers to actually teach you about my food this is me this is what i I grew up eating. Thank you so much. Please don't forget to subscribe. I love you all.